So here I took 10 feet in and 10 feet up, and I made a 10 foot grid on the side and I made a 10 foot grid on the bottom, and I drew one foot up and one foot over, and one foot up and one foot over, and one foot up and one foot over, like that, right? Then I took my perspective point and I drew from those points down, 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 down to get the inside of the steps. And then I figured out where the, where the footprint was gonna be. I came in here three feet and I came out to here, figured out where the front was. Then I just repeated up, over, up, over, up, over, up, over, and let these connect them, all right? So let's do that. Everyone has, I assume, in their drawing, something like this that I've drawn here, where I've got a staircase in the back of this room that should be 10 by 10, but I've just drawn sort of a choppy thing in there. So now I'm gonna take a sheet of marker paper. I'm gonna lay it on top. I'm going to figure it out. So if this floor here is supposed to be 25 feet long, then the center of that is 12, right? So the center of that is going to be 6, and the center of that is going to be 3. So there's 3, 6, 9, 12. So I need to get 10, right? So you need to divide that into thirds and say, this is gonna be 10 right here, from here to there. So I need, also I have 10 from here to here, right? This is 10 feet on that. Let's see if it's close. It is, it's pretty close, right? Now, I can't have my stairwell start here. I need three feet in front of it, don't I? I need to have a three foot platform in front of every stairwell or a, a way to access the stairs or I need to have three feet at the top of my stairs in my floor plan. That's why I bumped this stair over off the center because if this is only 12 feet to here, then I need another couple feet over here, right? So it looks like I've got my stairs lined up in about the right place. This is gonna be six, this is gonna be three, this is gonna be three. I started my stairs here, nine feet into the room. Three, six, nine, ten. So my last step's going to come there. And if this is going to be ten feet, this is the block I'm drawing my steps into. Five foot we know is here at the center. This is two and a half feet, so I'm gonna go two just below and three just above. That's two and a half. There's gonna be two and there's gonna be three and there's gonna be four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five. That's seven and a half, so that's eight, nine, ten, seven, six, five. All right. I can take that this way and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if I take this grid and I do it on the back wall, I can quickly say 10 is going to come here. I'm going to step down. I'm going to come over a foot. I'm going to come down a foot. Over. Over, over, and down, and down, and down, and down, and over, and down, and over, and 
down and over and down and over and down and over and down. And am I off here? Yes. My grid's not very precise. You can measure this if you want to. All right. So there's my steps. Okay, now my vanishing point is right here. Right? So, if I want to bring that out into the room three feet, I need to come three feet this direction and three feet this direction. So I'm going to figure. What do I have here? I did this out here in the room and I think I came that was like halfway or this was about 12 feet this direction. So if that's 12 feet, I'm gonna do this to get six feet. And then I'm gonna do this to get three feet. And it looks like they're gonna come out about this far. So this now is the footprint for my stairwell if it were built in to the room. All right, so this step here has got to come out and away from this point. It's going to come up here, back towards that point, and then in to repeat this side of the steps, right? These steps I'm not going to see the tops of, right? This five foot step is going to come straight out at me, straight out towards my eye. These steps are going to come this way, and I should see the tops of them, but a very little bit. So if I come in here, and I come out here, and I come up here, then that's going to tell me how much of that I'm going to see. Is this all necessary? No, but some of it is. Okay, so I want you to figure out but this is going to show a little more. I want you to show a little more here. I want you to show a little more here. And I want you to show the most down there. And this is going to come over and up, over and up, over and up. I'm sort of connecting these along here. Erasing this part because it's not actually going to be see through. So I'm showing some steps down here. When I get up to here, I don't need to show steps anymore. They're all gonna be behind there and they're gonna disappear behind my vanishing point. So I'm actually just gonna use these lines that I had there. I'm gonna extrude them forward as if they came out to here. And I'm gonna let that be my stairwell or my staircase. If I have see-through steps, then I'm going to draw these planks in here, and then up here, yeah, I'm going to have to start doing this to show how these are going to come down towards the vanishing point that way. These are going to come towards the vanishing point this way, and I'm actually going to see those planks and the ends of them. So I know most of you want to do these stairs that show through. You need to be thinking about what you're going to see in there and make sure that all your lines in depth go back along. Towards your vanishing point over here. Okay. Then you're going to take your marker, you're going to color the ends, and then if you see the tops, you might want to color those just a little bit lighter. So let's say that my stairs are going to come this direction. And the footprint of my stairs then is going to be three feet and come away from that vanishing point out here. And if this is 12 feet, then I'm going to come in here a couple feet because I only need 10. So let's say it's going to be there. 
So this is the place where my stairs are going to go. They're going to come all, actually, they need to come 13 feet, don't they? Because I need a platform at the top that's three feet out. Then I need 10 feet of stairs after that. So my stairs are going to come out to here. So this is my footprint. This is going to be my platform up here where it joins. Here, a platform that comes out from the ceiling here to there and here to there. Yeah, like that. So I figured out this is where the platform is going to be up at the top. This is the back of my wall. And so my first step is going to come down a foot, and then it's going to come out a foot. So it's going to come out this way, right? Away from that. And it's going to cover that a little bit and come down this way. But then I'm going to get that weird kind of thing I showed you before. So what I'd like you to do is just do a dot to dot. If this is where the top of your stairs start, and this is where the bottom of your stairs hit the floor, then I want you to take and draw a line straight from here to there. Of course, that's by putting a pencil at one point and putting your eye on the other point, right? I always draw straighter lines. If I turn my paper, So this is sort of like a slide now that I've made. See how this angle here is going to happen from the top of my staircase to the bottom of my staircase, and this is where my staircase is going to occupy. I would go top to bottom, and I would just divide that into 10. So pull a ruler over here, go halfway and say that's going to be your 5. Halfway is going to be 2.5, so you're going to say Three, four, five, two, one, zero. That's too big. It's going to be five. This is going to be two and a half. So that's going to be three, four, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Eight, nine, six, five, no, that's seven and a half, sorry. Seven and a half, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Basically, I'm dividing this into ten equal parts. I'm going to now bring these over to these stairs. So these stairs are about the same. So I'm getting five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to adjust a little bit. This is where sketching becomes a little bit different than actually figuring out exactly how the drawing is going to be. So we're going to make a symbol of a staircase here, right? So now I've got equal parts up and down here. I can take this and I can go up, and then I'm going to go towards vanishing point here, and then I'm going to go up here and towards vanishing point and up here and towards vanishing point. So each of these is going to go off towards vanishing point, and then I'm just going to come in here and connect some things that are going to make it sort of work for me. When I get to the five point level here, I'm not going to see up above that anymore. So these are still going to keep coming up and back. When I get here, they're still going to come back, back, back like that, but then they're going to be overlapping. So I'm not going to see the tops of these steps straight down over, down, over, down. See how I'm coming over each time just a little bit to line up with this thing here? So what's happening is I'm getting equal sized on some of my steps. And this looks a lot better than that sort of fisheye view that I had before. I'm going to come this way now and this way to show the top of this step. I'm going to show a little bit here, 
I'm going to show a little bit here. I'm going to show a little bit less here. And these are going to get a little smaller, a little smaller as they get up to this is actually my eye level here, right? So this is my vanishing point up here. This is my five down here. How did that happen? Well, I just divided this into equal parts. So actually I'm seeing the tops of my steps a little bit differently because of this drawing. And then up here past the eye level, I'm not gonna see any more of the top of. So by here, I should be seeing almost nothing if not enough, totally a flat step. These lines here though, I do want to relate to vanishing point so that they come towards vanishing point, towards vanishing point. Let's be clear about what we're doing here. This is going horizontally. Vertical, horizontal, and then this is gonna drop a little towards vanishing point there. This is gonna come over here. This is gonna drop a little towards vanishing point there and connect with this puppy here, coming straight up and down, vanishing point, straight up and down, vanishing point. So that I have my three dimensions at these corners, then at the five, I want it to be flat. I don't want to see top or bottom of that because that is my eye level. So I'm going to just bring that straight across. This is going to come out straight and horizontal, vertical, vanishing point, vertical. Then here I'm going to start showing a tiny bit of the top of this stair that's down below that eye level. and down, and vanishing point, and horizontal. And then go back in and clean this up so that you've got these kind of step things happening here like you want to see it. But it'll make it so that your, your staircase is a little bit symbolic as opposed to exactly what you would see if you were standing in that space. Actually, what would happen is, is this five should line up with that five and you should have all these stairs like jammed up in there and stuff, and, but it would just be weird. Make sure that you have six feet above your head. So if you have drawn here, something that comes out into the room like this, and this is your platform, and we know we have up here, we said we've got this, this cut out here. You need to cut out here above your head a three foot wide path and six feet high. So where does that become six feet? Well, six stairs down, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here I need to go straight up to my ceiling and make sure that I'm cutting a hole in my ceiling, actually my floor of my next thing. So if my mezzanine, let's say, comes out like this, and my stairwell comes out like this, I'm gonna to have to come down here six steps and then come straight up here to connect to make sure that I have a hole cut here. But then I'm gonna see this come up here. Right? This is the thickness of my floor right here. And then these are gonna be the railings out here for my mezzanine to show over.